up, everybody? Welcome to Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs. And I'm David Woldingen. And today we're going to preview Mizzou's game against Kansas State. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. All right, David, Mizzou is heading to Manhattan, Kansas, uh, old Big 12 rival Kansas State. First time playing each other since 2011. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, it's a sellout crowd. Um, I think they sold even all their standing room tickets, so the place is going to be packed and rocking, um, even even if it is an 11 a.m. game. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the Tigers hold up in that type of atmosphere. Yeah, I think they sold the game out back, all the way back in July. So, yeah, this is their biggest non-conference game, maybe their biggest home game. I don't know what their schedule is. Um, anyway, uh, you know, the, take a look at Missouri. Uh, you know, we're going to start previewing this by looking at when Missouri has the ball, David, and, it, you know, it was interesting. You know, they put up 52 points uh, against Louisiana Tech despite the slow start. Uh, what do you think Mizzou needs to do against this Kansas State defense? Well, they need to sure up their offensive run game, especially in the line. Um, they have to have really good line play to open up some holes. Uh, like you said, they started out really slow. Uh, granted, when he called three screenplay bubble screenplays right off the bat, I mean, that tends to happen. Yeah. Uh, but if you can get the ground game going, pick up four or five yards on first down, that's going to be key for those short third down conversions. Not to mention, uh, if you get a run game going, it will also open up our passing game. Um, the way this offense has always been designed is a run first, pass second type game with the short passes however i do expect drink to open up downfield a little more this game and we saw it a little bit in the louisiana tech game uh once the offense got going a little bit he had a few mid-range passes i i expect to see a lot more of that especially with how good our wide receivers are yeah i think i think this is a missouri offense that may lean more on the pass and part of that will be talent at the wide receiver uh core and part of that might be the fact that the offensive line, in my opinion, I think they're better at, at pass blocking than they are run blocking. I think they're barely average run blocking. I think they're pretty solid pass blocking. For whatever reason, they just happen to be better at that, it seems to me. Well, um, you have a lot of younger guys who are still trying to gel together, and that can make, it's easier to pass block than run block, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to see – to see how Luther Burton is used, if uh, you know, if it's more the same type stuff, where you know, see, see if we see more wildcat jet sweeps and seeing uh, see what he can do down the football field, I, I think that'll be very exciting. And you know, make Kansas State prove that they can slow him down. And honestly, on that note, I would like I expect to see him get more touches. I think he only had six touches last week uh you he already showed he has playmaking ability you have to get the ball in his hands you agree yeah and it'll be interesting uh also looking at mizzou's running game when they do run i think nathaniel pete has established himself as the number one back he looked the part against louisiana tech yeah and honestly all three of our running backs had to kind of make their own game out of it because the line wasn't doing a whole lot whole wise so uh, a lot of their yards they got after they had initial contact. So it is, I agree with you. I think you'll see him start taking more of the snaps, more of the reps, uh, but they'll still be using three backs. Yeah. Uh, and the, the Missouri offense is going to be facing a Kansas State defense that did not allow a point to South Dakota. That said, they were susceptible to the run. Uh, they gave up a decent amount of uh, of rushing yards to South Dakota, and they're going to be without their one of their outside backers, former Mizzou quarterback turned safety turned apparently outside linebacker, Sean Robinson. Well, and it's worth noting also that uh, South Dakota didn't have two of their starting offensive linemen in that game, so that kind of makes it even more interesting. Uh, just I think the run will open up a little more than we expect, but at the same time, we haven't played a stronger defense yet, so it is going to be interesting to watch. Right. And when Missouri does pass in particular, it's going to be a challenge for the tackles. Uh, Javon Foster and Zeke Powell. Kansas State has 
a first team all conference defensive uh, end. Uh, he was the co defensive lineman of the year in 2021. Felix and you on UDK Uzama. I had to say that slowly to make sure I got it right. But this dude is a monster and it's going to be, it's going to be up to uh, Javon Foster. I think mo most of the time, uh, but Zeke Powell's going to have to face him too. And that's going to be really dicey. I think he he plays on both sides, but more often than not against left tackle. Yeah. The only good news about this is, uh, Freddie Cook showed really, really good movement at evading pressure last week, and I expect to see more of that this week. Yeah, this would be a terrifying matchup if Connor Bazelak were back there as as injured and stentuesque as he was last year. As you said, Brady Cook, different story. Now, when Kansas State has the ball, David, uh, it's no secret what they're going to try to do. They've got uh, Adrian Martinez, the quarterback uh, transfer from Nebraska, but he can he can throw the ball a little sure, but it is a ground game attack coming at you, led by Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, Deuce Vaughn had uh, 18 rushes for 126 yards last week, uh, and then on top of that, Adrian Martinez, uh, if you're familiar, came from Nebraska, has some speed too. He had 13 rushes for 39 yards. Uh, he is not a thrower. So the key to this game is if we can somehow slow down the run, especially on first and second down, and force them into a passing type plays and force them to try beat us in the air. I think if we can do that, that's when Missouri will start to take over the game. Uh, now that I, I say that, but it's going to be a very tall order to try to do that. So uh, this game, in my opinion, is going to be won or lost in the trenches. Yeah, and, and you're right about that. Uh, Kansas State, uh, one injury on this side of the ball for them. They're going to be without their right guard, Taylor Poitier. Uh, he will not be playing in this game. So we'll see what kind of depth they've got on the offensive line as they try to, you know, get their run game going against Mizzou. Yeah, Deuce Vaughn, he's 5'6". He, so Mizzou's defenders are going to have to make sure they're getting low. Um, you know, any sort of going for the big hit, they're probably just going to whiff because he's he's five six. Yeah, and uh, one of the keys on the defensive line is our ends have to be able to play contain, especially if you're running against an option-type play with uh, Martinez and Deuce. Um, the other issue is our cornerbacks are going to have to hold their positions well, too, and then fight off blocks to get to the run. Uh, we do have maybe – an injury issue, maybe not with Rake Straw. He rolled his ankle last game, but it's looking like he should be able to play. Um, not sure if he'll start or not. It just depends on how bad the foot is. So we'll have to keep an eye on that throughout the game to see how he holds up. But especially our D-line and our cornerbacks are going to have to do a good job of shedding their blocks and making sure the running back does not is not able to bounce it outside and run up the field. I think the key for Missouri, I think it's paramount that they win first down, as you mentioned earlier. Adrian Martinez was 11 for 15 against uh, South Dakota, which, you know, that's a fairly nice percentage. For 53 yards, he averaged three and a half yards per attempt. Make it's him win the game with his arm. If, if Adrian Martinez has to win the game for Kansas State, Mizzou's chances go up drastically. I'll also say uh, that first game for Kansas State, they are up 20 to nothing after the first quarter. Uh, yeah. They put away their playbook uh, to save a lot of their stuff for the Mizzou game. So I honestly expect there's going to be some play action. So our safeties are going to have to make sure they don't bite down and give up a big passing play like they did against Louisiana Tech. Yes. Yeah, that's the one glaring thing that the defense needed to clean up was just uh, honestly blowing coverages uh, out of the safety. So moving into predictions for this game, uh, you know, David, last week you picked Mizzou to win. They did. You picked Mizzou to cover. You picked 52 to 17. That was the score until a garbage time touchdown, 50 seconds to go, made it 52 to 24 and robbed you uh, of – 
all glory of nailing the prediction. Yeah, that's super frustrating. That's like having a block kick with two seconds left in an LSU type game. <laughs> yeah, I, as for me, again, I, I picked Mizzou to win as well, but I did not pick them to cover. I thought they'd come up just short. So I'm 0 1 against the spread here. Mizzou opened up as an eight and a half point underdog. Uh, the line has since moved to seven and a half. So uh, one fewer point there to work with, with Mizzou as an underdog. Um, my prediction is honestly, David, it's more of a hunch than anything else. I've got Mizzou winning uh, 31 to 24, both, co- you know, cover and outright win 31, 24. I think, I think the defense is going to step up. Um, I want to believe in your gut feeling. Uh, however, I have Kansas state winning this game 28, 24. And I, I'll say this, it was probably the hardest pick I've ever had to do. Just because I don't know what to expect out of Mizzou. Um, I don't have a whole lot of faith that their run defense can do what they do until they show me. Um, Their last five games last year, they improved greatly. And then the first uh, last week, they allowed eight rushing yards against a spread team. I just don't know what we're going to see against a good run team. So uh, I do think Mizzou will cover, though, which is why I said 28-24 Kansas State. And I hope you're right and that we pull off the victory. But we're just going to have to watch Honestly, your pick's probably smarter, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, However, I will say this. The over-under for this game was set at 57, and I think the under is going to hit on this game. So, anyway, that's all we have for this week's uh, pregame setup for RDR Sports. Thank you for watching.